Recently, uh, we were informed uh, by government that we would have to face a reduction in the benefits that they uh, give to Liverpool City Council, which we uh, provide to the people of the city by way of council tax benefits, that this would be reduced by central government of 10 uh, 10% uh, to the city council. This would have meant uh, that it would have reduced uh, the council tax benefits by around about 17% to the most, well, to the poorest and, and uh, most neediest families within the city. What we've uh, managed uh, to do is take up a measly offer uh, from government of 1.5 million uh, to try to support those of the people claiming that grant most in need. Uh, we've took that and we've now added uh, 1.7 million pounds to that. Uh, which means that we can try to reduce that uh, cost to families uh, by 50%. So, in other words, they will not have to find 17%, they will only have to find 8%. It's really tough for families out there, I know that. Um, but I hope that uh, this decision that we've taken to uh, take the grant offer from government of £1.5 million and to fund uh, a 1.7 million pound addition to that means that we can reduce that fund as I said by 50% and I hope that uh, helps and mitigates uh, the uh, effects of that cut to as I said the most poorest and neediest of families within the city of Liverpool. One of the other things that we're doing as a response to the government's cuts is to set up a uh, task group uh, within the city led by one of my cabinet members, Jane Corbett, who's a mayoral lead for poverty, and chaired by one of the Fairness Commission members, Frank Hunt. Um, people will recall that I set up a Fairness Commission when I became leader of the council in 2010. It was one of the first things that I did. One of the recommendations from that Fairness Commission was that Liverpool should introduce what we call the living wage. Uh, some other councils in the city uh, uh, have introduced that. And it was my uh, determination to actually make that happen. Uh, obviously, it's difficult and the finances of the city mean it's really hard for us to be able to do that. But I can announce today also that as from the 1st of April this year, Liverpool will introduce a living wage. Uh, and again, I hope that helps people uh, and it helps to tackle the in-work poverty that, that face people within the city of Liverpool. And I would hope that organisations uh, and businesses within the city also follow suit and Liverpool City's lead, Liverpool City Council's lead in doing that. So it's a, a small uh, portion of good news, if you like, in difficult times for families. But I just want them to know that we're on their side and we will do all we can to help families in difficult times. Mm -hmm.